Hey guys and welcome to Loudscast with TGN.TV In this video guys I've got a bit of an announcement that I'm going to do a bit of an add-on guide for you Yes indeed folks Okay the announcement is basically this In my last video I asked you guys here on TGN Do you want to see me doing Shaman videos or Warrior videos? I counted up all the results and with a pretty unanimous vote it was Shaman So I'm going to log in on my Shaman now and I'm going to give you a bit of a guide on the sort of add-ons that I'll be using, what sort of UI and all that good stuff. So let's log in now. Here we go. Okay, um, basically there are two ways which you can install an add-on. Um, there's the sort of really manual crude method, which is basically um, when you get uh, an add-on, i.e. you've just downloaded it, you can go to your World of Warcraft folder, then you want to go to Interface and Add-ons, and you either need to copy and paste it in there, or you can drag and drop it in there. The only real issue with that, guys, is that every single time there's a patch, you're going to have to manually update, manually get a new copy of that add-on and shove it in. Um, so there's a much better method, and that is basically by using the Curse Client, and that will automatically put your add-ons in that folder. And when a new patch comes out, it means that they can automatically be updated. There will be a link for the Curse Client in the description of this video. Okay, guys, so if we see here, we see my sort of user interface, which I'm <laughs> more than comfortable sort of using now. Okay, first things first, um, you may have noticed that my actual character is down here. And that is used to an add-on called Expel Unit Frames, which basically allows you to move stuff like that around. And to give you a better idea of what it's all about, I'll open up the menu. You notice here in the top right, I click that, and bang, there we go. Everything comes up for Expo. And basically, um, all your party, raid stuff, all that sort of thing, you can basically move them around until you are comfortable with where they are. The reason why I like having it at the bottom here is so that um, my character is there, directly above my sort of um, all my spells and abilities which means that when I'm looking at them I can see that as well so that's really handy and I also if I select this targeting dummy here I have whatever enemy I'm facing in the right hand side there so expel is a really handy add-on well worth sort of getting um, in excuse me <laughs> in terms of UI next I use an add-on called bartender 4 which is why all my spells and abilities are in this little sort of box here I'll just bring up the sort of menu there for Bartender 4 and you can sort of have some fun with these, you can move them around to where you want to sort of put them so that you are comfortable with them. Um, I, again, I like to have all my stuff in the bottom here um, selected so there we go. You can move that up if I want. You, you just get them so that you're comfortable. Well, you mainly sort of look at your screen. I mean, I tend to focus on about this sort of portion of the screen here where I'm moving my mouse around now. So that's why most of my important stuff is sort of around that area. Okay, so if you unselect bar snapping as well, it means that you can move them to wherever you want. If you do have bar snapping turned on, it will mean that it will always sort of click and sync with the bars above it and around it, which is a bit better. So guys, when it comes to setting up keybinds um, for your bartender, all you have to do is go into your options, go to key bindings, and they should all be in there. You can set them up for each of the individual bars and that is pretty much that sort of covered. Okay, so we have covered Bartender and Expo Unit Frames. I'm now going to go into a really cool add-on which is called Recount and that is this little thing here which I'm clicking and dragging around the screen. What Recount is, is basically is a DPS meter it will basically show how much DPS you were doing to an enemy and everyone else in your group or raid. It's really good because it can help you figure out rotations and that sort of thing. Find out what works best for what. So I'm just going to clear the data there. I'm going to go over to this training dummy here. And I'm just going to start to work through my rotation. So here we go. Get those totems down. Here we go. And as you can see, it's starting to climb up on the DPS. And... That is pretty much recount, guys. Um, you can also use it to check other things, um, which are really useful, um, such as I think you can see the amount of healing done and all that sort of good stuff. All you have to do is scroll across, 
you want to see the whatever the options are and that sort of thing on recount you need to push that little button there and you can customize quite a lot of stuff such as the appearance and color there so recount is really sort of handy to have another add-on I like having is called omen now what omen basically does is omen will display how much threats you were doing um, so the tank should obviously be top of that if you're ever going above the tank in terms of threat use whatever abilities you use to reduce your aggro so if I'm an enhancement shaman here I would use wind shear um, to get the aggro off me so that's a really good little tool to sort of have there in the, in the corner and the last add-on I'm just going to quickly talk about guys is an add-on called deadly boss mods now this is really handy if you're going to be raiding or doing heroic dungeons because basically it will tell you whenever a boss is doing an ability which either has to be interrupted or avoided or whatever it's really really good it's really handy it throws a really loud sort of sound at you um, so that you will hear and see that on your screen now if we go into the options for deadly boss mods where have you gone yeah, you get all these little sort of icons around here we go deadly boss mods so we can see the options here boss style raid warnings all that sort of good stuff um, so again you can customize it the way that you like it and it's a really awesome add-on to have okay guys note that the links to um, all these add-ons as to where you can download them will be in the description below um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye